Welcome to our channel Tech Zen. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk always seems to have something up his sleeve and there seems to be no end to what he can do. So, let's see what Elon Musk has just revealed about Tesla's new hydrogen car. Stay tuned and watch till the end to get all the details. So, how do hydrogen cars compare to other mobility options in the future? Do hydrogen cars have a higher environmental footprint than electric ones? Considering how transportation accounts for a substantial portion of global greenhouse gas emissions, both battery electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles have emerged as a viable solution for decarbonization. While you may know about liquid petroleum gas cars or LPG, hydrogen-powered cars are fundamentally different and are closer to being electric than any other form of transportation. A hydrogen fuel cell car is already a reality that is shaping the future of the automobile industry. This technology was introduced in the Renault Kangoo, a vehicle in the utility range. Hydrogen fuel entered the market for the first time in 2014 and changed the state of electric mobility. Electric car companies and their customers are discovering the popularity of battery electric cars in an age when reducing pollution requires zero-emission monitoring. As you know that during the last few years, Tesla has created a stir in the market since its launch of Model S. This US-based company backed by Elon Musk has been a forerunner in battery electric vehicles since its launch in 2012. Model 3, which was launched in the early months of 2021 in the UK, gives the brand a chance to make its mark. For people with a tight budget, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has called hydrogen fuel cells. Previously, Tesla shareholders were skeptical in 2017, but Musk found an unexpected source of support. Yoshikasu Tanaka, chief engineer of the Mirai, said it's better to follow the convenience of plugging in a new electric car but hydrogen is an excellent alternative to gasoline. In 2017, the chairman of Toyota, Takeshi Uchiyamada, told Reuters in a Tokyo Auto Show that Toyota does not view the EV battery-powered auto and hydrogen cars as antagonists. Well, hydrogen electric fuel cell technology is not going away anytime soon. So how do hydrogen fuel cells and electric cars work? A battery or other portable energy source provides the current that powers electric motors and electric vehicles. As the batteries were previously charged with electricity, no chemical reaction will occur once they're moving either. Alternatively, a hydrogen fuel cell car uses a hydrogen tank that supplies high-pressure hydrogen gas to fuel cells that mix with oxygen. Then an electrochemical reaction is triggered by this mix, which generates the electric motor's power. Due to the use of electric energy in the motor, hydrogen cars can have the same characteristics as electric cars and conventional cars. The FCVs or FCEVs represent a unique segment of the automobile market and are more commonly referred to as fuel cell vehicles or fuel cell electric vehicles. A hydrogen-powered car's fuel cells are the key component that manages all the processes happening inside for it to be able to move along. They are the masterminds behind all the mechanical processes that take place inside the car. Fuel cells convert the hydrogen gas in storage into electricity by mixing it with oxygen. As a result, the vehicle is propelled without emitting any toxic tailpipe emissions by using an electric motor powered by this electricity. As a result of the connection of hydrogen and oxygen atoms with the HDO molecules, the only byproduct of this entire process is water and heat. So, would an electric car be better than a hydrogen car? In hydrogen cars such as the Toyota Mirai, the electric motor is fundamentally the same that is used in electric cars such as the Renault Zoe, Volkswagen ID3, or Hyundai Kona. They turn energy into rotational motion. An electric car uses an onboard battery to source energy which must be recharged. In a hydrogen car, the power is generated by an onboard hydrogen generator. Therefore, hydrogen cars can be filled up at a fuel pump just like petrol or diesel cars, which makes them more convenient than electric vehicles. But the problem with hydrogen cars is that there aren't yet enough of them to evaluate whether they are better or worse than electric cars. EVs by comparison is much more mainstream as there are much fewer for sale and even those that are very niche products. Due to this, it's generally accepted that the battery electric powertrains will be the future of passenger and short-range vehicles such as inner-city delivery vehicles. 
Even though hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles may also be used in this area, a review of current patent activity shows that innovations are primarily focused on large-scale long-distance transport. This is evident by the high percentage of applications in this area. In a series of steps between power generation and propulsion, battery electric vehicles are significantly more energy efficient than hydrogen fuel cells if saving the planet is one of your main goals. Once the main battery is charged from an electric vehicle, hopefully from a renewable source of energy, a few percent is lost in the process of delivering this to the vehicle charging location. The battery charging and discharging process contribute 10% to this loss, the motor loses another 5% of its efficiency when the vehicle is being driven, making a total of 20% loss. Then, a hydrogen fuel cell requires the conversion of electricity to hydrogen via electrolysis, which only achieves a 75% efficiency. On top of this, a further 10 efficiency is lost in the compression and cooling of the hydrogen gas before transport. The process of hydrogen being converted to electricity again through the fuel cell is only 60% efficient. So, you still lose 5% from driving the vehicle motor as you would with a battery electric vehicle. A loss of 62% amounts to more than 3 times as much as a normal loss. To understand this, for every kilowatt of electricity, you get 800 watts from energy from a battery electric vehicle but only 380 watts from a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle that is less than half that powerful. Considering the number of fossil fuels used to generate hydrogen, this is a huge inefficiency if we are to move towards a green future. One of the most common misconceptions about electric and hydrogen cars is that they have no emissions. While neither their exhaust nor manufacturing processes emit gases into the atmosphere, the manufacturing process is still a source of carbon dioxide. In an interview with Auto Express, John Hunt, Toyota's head of commercialization of hydrogen fuel cell cars, said, Manufacturing lithium-ion batteries for electric cars is a high-energy consuming process. The hydrogen system may be considered as an extender of the vehicle's range, with its icing on top being the speed of refueling and grid change. Within 10 minutes, the hydrogen tank can be filled and the fuel cell powered extends the vehicle's range immediately. Meanwhile, in the past, Elon Musk has spoken out strongly about hydrogen and hydrogen fuel cells. A spokesperson for Toyota told CNBC, fuel cell cars will certainly play a part in decarbonizing transport. Hydrogen is expected to be used in more and more types of applications, becoming an increasingly cost-effective and efficient source of energy. Hydrogen will be used to power cars, buses, trains, and trucks. In its statement, the FCHEA said hydrogen and fuel cell electric vehicles offers consumers zero-emission vehicles with a performance they expect while not changing their daily routines. Long-range, quick refueling, and scalable platforms without severely limiting weight and size. Additionally, according to the FCHEA, fuel cells are an excellent solution for electric cars and material handling vehicles. Due to the limited battery life and recharging capabilities of long-haul trucks, there is also potential for medium and heavy-duty delivery trucks, buses, trains, and planes. With governments everywhere striving to develop zero-emission transportation systems, manufacturers are just beginning to investigate the use of hydrogen fuel cells in larger vehicles. So, what would you think of a hydrogen car? Will Tesla most likely manufacture one? Let us know what you think in the comments below. So, that is all for today. Hope you learned something new and wish to stay updated with all the revolutions around the world. If you would like to receive more updates about tech-related news, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching!